great day for Covington. Amen. Thank you that I had the opportunity to come and uh, just congratulate our new chief. I just think it's a great thing that we've done that we have looked beyond. We went other places, but then there's no place like home, like Dorothy said. Just so happened I got on red boots so I could click my heels three times. But anyway, I just wanted to ask a question. Would you about disappear if you click the red boots? I'd like to disappear overseas for a little bit. But anyway, the, the city limits thing, I, I really support. I remember a while back when I was on council um, about people living five miles outside the city limit because I think the times are changing. You have social media, you have FaceTime, people can't make it in, they can FaceTime, they can email, of course, always been able to do that. But uh, the department head, so they would live within the city limits and those that were living outside, if they got promoted, you're saying that they will have the opportunity to stay where they are or and stay where they live, mm -hmm. okay, and not have yeah. to look for house. I like so that. Mr. Dressler can't move. Right, I like that. He can't move the county. Six miles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I like that. I that's think that's innovative, and I think that's uh, what's happening in America today. The second thing I, I just wanted to say was um, I wanted to talk about like my dad's house, you know, I know you guys been tearing down some houses and you know, it's looking really good and uh, properties that you're tearing down. You know, I don't know how you can help the citizens, you know, like maybe this, we could partner some type of way. Cause my daddy's house is on a thoroughfare. It is 818 South Allegheny Avenue and it's actually caving in. And um, it just looks bad right there. And I don't know, I know you've been tearing down houses. I know that people have to uh, come to you. I don't know how we do it, but I know I'm a part of the blight. So I think that there are ways that we can help, you know, there are houses on Pine Street, houses on Cherry Street, houses on all different types of places that I know need to be torn down. I don't know how the city attorney acts it. I don't know how we come into an agreement with it. I don't know if, you know, you can assist in any type of way, but I know that that's one of the houses that needs to be torn down. Is it, uh uh, I just want to get clear in my head. I yes. know where your daddy's house uh -huh. is. Right. Is it in? Is it still in an estate, or does your mother own it? She owns it. Your mom mm -hmm. owns it. Yeah, and it is two lots actually. It's. Uh, but she lives in. She's in. Area. She's in the woodlands, woodlands now. Woodlands. Yes, and um, you know, it's just it's blinded. Yeah. The part of the one that has caved in, and I, I think that if it fell on the street, that would be very very bad. And you know, a big old limb fell off the tree and I had that removed and somebody uh, tore, uh, cut the wood up for me. But I know that that part of Allegheny where he lives, it is really bad. So just let me know. I mean, you know, I don't know how we can work it out, but I know she doesn't have the money to be able to do that. So that's just a blighted part and I just wanted to bring it up. One Thank you. One of the things that we've done with blighted houses mm -hmm. is Eric has a list we call it top 25 list, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure where that particular house falls on the list, but then he has X amount of dollars every year to tear down houses, so he goes through that money, and then we got to wait till the next well, year. Because that's a humongous it building. Is. It is. I mean, it was a laundromat house, a couple of apartments, so I just want to bring that to your attention, and thank y'all for all your effort you do, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Thank you.